Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. Like I said, my name is Fanny Lungu. If there's something or anything you want us to react to, drop the link down below. Just keep motivating us, guys. We'll be really, really appreciative. Uh, thank you. Welcome to the newcomers and welcome back to those that are returning. Uh, keep subscribing, keep liking, keep commenting, keep sharing. We really, really appreciate and thank you for 20,000 subscribers. Uh, you can find us on Facebook and Instagram as Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Head there, say hi, we'll say hi back. Our second YouTube channel is called Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Head there, subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. So today I'm going to be reacting to Didat at his best part 14. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. The Quran is a copy, a plagiarism of stories from the Bible. Now, this, let me give you this example here. A comparison between what is told in the scriptures and what is told in the Quran about the birth of Jesus. If I may. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In the name of God, most gracious, most merciful. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, inna Allah astafaki wa taharaki wa astafaki ala nisail alameen. That God Almighty has chosen thee and purified thee, chosen thee above the women of all nations. This is the honor that is given to Mary, the mother of Jesus in the Holy Quran, that she is a woman chosen above the women of all nations. Ya Maryam Uknutili, Rabbiki, Wasdudi, Warkai Ma Rafain. So, O Mary, worship thy Lord devoutly. Prostrate thyself and bow down in prayer with those who bow down. Dalika Minambaila Haibi, Nuhihi Ilaika. This is part of the tidings of the things unseen which we reveal unto thee, O Muhammad, by inspiration. You were not with them when they cast lots with arrows as to which of them should be charged with the care of Mary, nor was thou with them when they disputed the point. I will not go into the full story, but if I may, I will have to do it tomorrow night. But the verses continue. Behold, the angel said, O Mary, in Allah you bashiruki bi kalimatin minhu. That God Almighty gives you glad tidings of a word from Him. Ismuhul Masih. His name will be the Messiah, translated Christ. Isa ibn Maryama. Jesus, the son of Mary, wajihan fit dunya wal akhirah, held in honor in this world and in the hereafter. Wa min al muqarrabin and of the company of those nearest to God. What the Christian would say, sitting on the right hand of God. We say not physically, not geographically, but in stature, in spirituality, in the company of those nearest to God. Wa yukallimun nasa, and he will speak to the people. Fil mahdi wa kahlan. In, in childhood and in maturity, women are salihin, and he shall be of the company of the righteous. When this good news is given to Mary about the birth of a holy son, she says, She said, Oh my Lord, how shall I have a son when no man has touched me? The angel says in reply, so Even so, Allah creates what he wills. Whenever he decrees a matter, so whenever he decrees a matter, he merely says to it, be and it is. This is the Muslim concept of the birth of Jesus. For God to create a Jesus without a human father, just like that. To, kill, to create a million Jesuses without father, without mother, just like that. The biblical version, in comparison, I am suggesting to Reverend Dunkers, the head of the Bible Society in Johannesburg. I had gone there to buy an Indonesian Bible in Johannesburg, and he called me for tea, seeing this funny headgear of mine and this beard, that I was interested in Bibles. He called me into his office, and I explained this to him, which was something novel to him, something amazing to him, that I was speaking from my book. So he said, look, this and the Bible appears to me to be the same. I said, yes, on the face of it. On the face of it, we are both trying to say the same thing, that Jesus was created by a special miracle. But I said, when you compare them closely, the difference between the Quran and the Bible is chalk and cheese. I don't know whether the Americans understand this expression, chalk and cheese. The Canadians didn't, because they didn't know chalk, they knew crayon, crayon and cheese, which is not the same thing. Chalk and cheese is poles apart, wools apart. The Quran says for God to create, he merely wills it, and the thing comes into being. 
The Bible says, and the Holy Ghost, same question. How can this thing be in, when, no man, when, when no man has touched it? Or oh, I know not a man, meaning sexually. The Bible says, and the Holy Ghost will come upon thee, and the power of the Most High will overshadow thee. This gives that picture to the atheist and the agnostic to be to it. How did the Holy Ghost come on Mary? How did the Almighty overshadow her? Like a man doing to his wife? How? No, we know it doesn't mean that. But the language of the two. See, the Quranic language is for God to create, he wills it, and the thing comes into being. The biblical language is earthly. I said, between the two, I'm asking Reverend Dunkers, which version would you be prepared to give to your daughter? The Quranic version of the birth of Jesus or the biblical version? And believe me, he bowed his, down, his head in shame, and he said, I would prefer to give the Quranic version to my daughter. I really, really love how Amididat explains things. Um, I mean, despite anything, I'm sure anyone watching this is getting that um, he also speaks about the similarities. Despite the similarities, he attacks the languages of how one is more earthly, as you refer to it, and the other one is... Um, something that you can willingly share with no shame even to your offspring um i don't know as i said despite the similarities read both things read both books there's nothing to lose by reading both compare if it's the story of noah read see how they're both they're spoken about in both books See which narrative you want to go with. I don't think the stories are that different. Maybe terminology wise, I'm not sure. I haven't gone deeper into that, but just see how that is. Other things, other than Noah, there's the creation of Adam and Eve, Mary, whatever the case is. And I feel like Mary, Mariam has actually, Mary rather, has actually been, um, she's not exactly celebrated, but. I feel like the Bible and the Quran both agree that she had a miracle baby and um, I'd really, I've actually listened to the recitation but I haven't you know I'll listen to how the Bible describes the entire thing and um, it's something that we should constantly look forward to and see for ourselves yes Didad has said this, but it's up to you and I to go out there, look into it and say, oh, okay, this makes sense. Okay, this doesn't make sense. Oh, I love how Mary is upheld in both books, you know, and life moves on. At least you've learned something at the end of the day. Strive to learn something each and every day. Let me know what you guys actually think. If there's anything like this you want me to react to, drop the link down below. Drop the name down below and I'll be more than glad react to it by the way sometimes if i take too long to react to something it's because i already have videos that i've already reacted to and have been scheduled to um to be posted so just keep on suggesting motivate me motivate us by suggesting stuff for us to react to and i'll do them we'll do them and yeah let me know what you think about this video what did that was saying your thoughts your unbiased thoughts and yeah your comments are always welcome make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video